Hey y'all, Pete from Rook Tactical here. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Just wanted to reach out to you guys real quick and send a little video out, speak about what we've got coming up, what we've got in the works, the sale that we're having this weekend, our big rail sale. Talk you through a few of the idiosyncrasies that we found with our G17 rails. Talk a little bit about G19, talk about some rear rails and just give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, sorry for the production quality, kind of new to this. Just started really working on this stuff, uh, making videos uh, this week. So I want to start with the P45s. We have some G17 rails. These are now all in stock. We've received all of the G17 rails that we will receive this time around. Started shipping pre-orders last week. Um, we've managed to get most of them done. We're now kind of waiting on the rest of the G19 rails to come in. We'll get to those in just a minute. We did find a small issue with the G17 rails. They're kind of a loose fit in the PF45. Not really too happy about that. We think that with pinning, it might be okay, but obviously we just want to make you the customer aware. We believe in transparency. We don't believe in sending out product that doesn't work and doesn't fit right. The solution is these are our pre-production rails and so our pre-production rails were a snug fit or a good fit in the PF45 chassis they were a little bit tight for our like in the G17 which is why we ended up skinnying them up a little bit and so when you take one of our pre-production rails perfect fit so <clears throat> the solution is we'll, we'll, we'll be running a, a separate part number for the PF45 chassis the PF45 rear rails are in prototype right now and so might be better off just waiting for that whole set to be finished out. It'll be a better matching set. Again, you could probably get away with it. I do believe that even the stock rails fit a little bit looser in the PF45 chassis than in the the G17. However, our, our recommendation is that um, you wait. Okay, let's talk a little bit about G19 rails. So we received some G19s in today. We've got the first 20. They ran a couple of first passes last week, got them through quality, and then started machining them. There was another 59 shipped to me today. They should arrive Saturday. These things have come out really nice. We're, we're, we're really happy with these. The you know Obviously, we had the, the issue with the Chinese material. These are also made in the USA, and we're, we're going to continue doing that for as long as, I mean, forever. And so these are still manufactured in the USA. The company that manufactures the G17 rails were kind enough to pick up the production of these. It did push the production a little bit. We certainly appreciate everyone's patience on that. So the fit on the G19 rails is solid. It's very nice. It's very good. Your pinholes will line up. Provided they're drilled correctly, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Shouldn't require any fitting. Uh, you know, obviously there will be some guys that probably take them and put their own touch and finish on them, which is fine. But overall, the finish on these is pretty fantastic. We are looking at DLC coating, as you know from the blog, for both the G17 and G19 rails. This is a chassis that's got some <clears throat> DLC coating on the front rail. This has got my new rear rails in it as well. We've been running this at the range, got about 300 rounds through it, which is expensive. And it's done pretty well, it's performed pretty good. There's no marks, no wear, no nothing on it. So we're, we're very happy overall with this. We'll probably end up DLCing the rear rails and offering those as well. Obviously, that's a cost adder. We understand that's not for everybody, but if you want the ultimate in performance, then we would recommend DLC once we get those up and running. So just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Next, I guess the thing that most of you have probably been waiting for is the rear rail solution. So the hype surrounding this has been pretty high, and now it's time to reveal what's going on. Uh, the rear rails, also made in the USA. We found a manufacturer that has collaborated with us extensively. This guy is just an absolute artist with a machine. Um, <clears throat> the, the finishes that he's achieving and just the overall quality of the parts that he's sending to me, this is not an easy part to machine. Uh, obviously, the big kind of surprise here is that we went with two pieces, and I'll explain that in a minute. So, the guy's machining him. He's fantastic. Very, very talented young man. Uh, loves to collaborate. We've got a few more projects in the work. I'm excited in the works. I'm excited to show those to you guys at some point. But for now, we've got our rear rails. So, <clears throat> when we were engineering these, what we discovered was two things. One, we can take that tab and we can extend it down the entire length of the chassis and give ourselves a wedge fit, which is great because the wedge fit removes the need for the tab and it also gives us a more secure fit on that trigger housing. And the other thing we we determined is when we do extend that down, it removes the need for the bottom piece. 
and we discovered this quite by accident through a different design. And the nice thing about this, because it's two pieces, it essentially circumvents any patents. So, so you're going to drop your, your one side rail in, and then you're going to drop your second side rail in, and then you're going to take your third rail, or your trigger housing, sorry, and then you're going to take your rail, drop it in. Um, you know, as we said, it's, a, it's precision machined, so the parts are um, pretty easy to put together, provided your drill holes are, or your holes are drilled correctly, you shouldn't have any problem popping the pin in. So, and that's with obviously no retouching. This is actually an MGB frame. Kenny, my friend, uh, Marine Gun Builder, sent this to me to, to use just for fit ups and, uh, you know, as I saw fit, and it's been a great. So, you know, the hole, you know, the holes are drilled right with this one because uh, this was a Kenny frame. And, uh, and you just pop that out nice and smooth. The, the other feature that we'd like to share that removing that rear bar enabled us to do was it enabled us to use a Gen 4 or Gen 5 rear trigger housing with no modification. So that we're pretty excited about. We think that that's probably a, you know, the game changer in, in this aspect. Uh, again, it'll be a, a precision fit. You know, the, the, the pinhole uh, alignment doesn't really change between the Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5 housings. So you will be able to take a Gen 4 or Gen 5 housing and it'll just pop right in there with no modification whatsoever. So we're, we're pretty proud about that. So. <clears throat> so that's basically what I wanted to talk about on rear rails. The other thing that I would like to mention is the G26. G26 had a little bit of a tighter fit on it. This has got the rear rails already installed. We found we were having an issue, and so if, if you kind of come across it where you're um, having a problem getting the rear rail on, sometimes just pinching that rail will help it. And once it's on, as you can see, it's very, very smooth. So we're pretty happy with that fit overall. Um, but just one thing to keep in mind is if it, we tried to gain as much surface area as we possibly could, and in that, some, some slides you may have a slight fit. You can always go in and wet stone this. We really tried to avoid any kind of rework and any kind of processing by the customer. But for a first batch run outside of prototypes, we're, you know, overall we're very happy, but you may still need to do just a little bit of rework there. Last but not least, we're going to have some other goodies in the store. First thing, G43 night sight sets. Uh, those are going to be, we think, very reasonably priced. Some G43 safety plunger springs. We've got some G43 trigger housing pins, kind of some rare stuff that's been hard to find. Some G43 extractor depressors, got a bunch of those. Got some non-LCI bearings and some LCI bearings for 9mm 40. Didn't forget about you 10mm 45 guys. We got some, uh, we ordered some more of the firing pins. We still have some of the partial upper kits in stock. I think it's five or six and they're still discounted so they're worth taking a look at also. Uh, last but not least we got some of these little Glock trays. I really like these. They're perfect for the range. You can throw them in your range bag. They're small, they're light, but if you got to take a gun apart or do some work to a gun, you know, you don't really want to set your parts on a table where, the, where it's windy or it could blow away. So we really like these a lot. Um, I've got a few of these in the store. I think they're 10 bucks, but they're silicone. Obviously pretty nice, pretty resilient, pretty grippy. Yeah, they don't move anywhere. Um, so yeah, check those out too. That's all I got. Thanks for getting rooked guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Bye.